Most of the theories state that Venus is the only planet amongst the eight planets in the solar system with similar characteristics than that of Earth. In fact, it is nicknamed as Earth's twin. Well, this is because both the planets are similar in size, structure, and surface gravity. Now, if these planets are so identical, why don't we conduct missions to inhabit Venus? We are continuously trying to reach Mars and Moon to build human civilizations, but what is it with Venus? What would happen if you tried to spend 5 seconds on Venus? Spending just 5 seconds on Venus would be a wild and unforgettable adventure, but also an incredibly perilous one. Before we dive into this daring journey, let's paint a vivid picture of what awaits you on this scorching hot planet. Venus is the second planet from the Sun and is often called Earth's sister planet. The surface gravity on Venus is almost the same as the surface gravity on Earth. The surface gravity on Venus is about 91% than that on Earth, so if you weigh 100 pounds on Earth, you would weigh 91 pounds on Venus. The distance between these two planets is approximately 41 million kilometers and to reach Venus from Earth, we would have to spend around 4 to 6 months in space. Venus's golden glow and enchanting appearance have captivated astronomers for centuries. However, once you get closer, you will quickly realize that Venus is no paradise. The surface of Venus is a true inferno, with an average temperature of about 864 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 462 degrees Celsius. That's hotter than the surface of Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun. The main culprit behind this blistering heat is Venus's thick atmosphere, which is primarily composed of carbon dioxide, making up about 96.5% of the atmosphere. This dense carbon dioxide blanket creates a severe greenhouse effect, trapping heat from the sun and preventing it from escaping back into space. So, at the end of the day, all the greenhouse gases and the heat remains on the planet, making it inhabitable. Just so you know, the boiling point of water is 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius, which is far less than the average temperature on Venus. Now, imagine standing on the surface of Venus for just 5 seconds. The heat would be unbearable, and your body would feel like it's engulfed in an oven. Any exposed skin would quickly burn, and your spacesuit, no matter how advanced, would have a tough time insulating you from the extreme temperatures. But that's not all, Venus's atmosphere is crushingly heavy. The atmospheric pressure at the surface is approximately 92 times greater than that of Earth. It would feel like carrying the weight of a small car on your shoulders, exerting immense pressure on your body. Even if you somehow managed to survive the heat, the pressure alone would be enough to cause serious harm. Moreover, thick and toxic clouds of sulfuric acid cover the skies, which makes Venus a hazardous planet. These clouds reflect sunlight, giving the planet its dazzling brightness when seen from Earth. However, they also pose another danger to any potential explorers, as the sulfuric acid can corrode and damage spacecraft and equipment. In addition to its extreme weather conditions, Venus has a rather peculiar rotation. Unlike most other planets, it spins in the opposite direction to its orbit around the Sun, leading to a retrograde rotation. A day on Venus, which is one complete rotation, takes about 117 Earth days, while a year is roughly 225 Earth days. So, spending 5 seconds on Venus would feel like an eternity in comparison to our earthly experience of time. One interesting fact which was discovered while researching was that only 10% of sunlight hitting the clouds is actually able to reach the surface. Because of this, it always looks like dawn, no matter what time of day it is. Moving on, let's talk about the surface on Venus. Well, Venus has a rocky terrain scattered with countless volcanoes. Not just average volcanoes, we are talking about massive, powerful, and constantly active ones. Besides this, this boiling planet experiences sulfuric acid rain that can burn through pretty much anything it touches. Talk about needing an umbrella made of titanium. If you are hoping to find some ocean or lakes, then you are in the wrong place. This planet has no liquids on its surface. All the liquids dropping from the acid rain immediately evaporates, even before it touches the ground. 
The extreme environment of Venus has made it a challenging target for exploration, but that hasn't stopped scientists and space agencies from trying. Over the years, various spacecrafts have been sent to study Venus from orbit and even land on its surface. Back on August 17, 1970, the Soviet Union launched the Venera 7 mission which aimed to explore Venus. It entered Venus's atmosphere on December 15, 1970, and faced challenging conditions during its descent, including extreme heat and pressure. Despite these difficulties, Venera 7 successfully made a soft landing on the surface of Venus, becoming the first man-made object to achieve such a feat on another planet. During its short time on Venus, about 23 minutes to be exact, Venera 7 collected data and sent it back to Earth. The data revealed some incredible things about Venus, like its scorching surface temperature and the atmospheric pressure. However, the transmission was intermittent, and the spacecraft's signal was lost several times due to various technical challenges. In total, Venera 7 was able to transmit data back to Earth for about 127 minutes. If a spacecraft from 1970 could survive on this planet for over two hours, then you with your shiny, new high-tech gear should be able to survive for a bit, right? If you start to walk on the planet, then you would be alright for the first few seconds, but after that, you would start to run into problems because of the dense atmosphere. You'll experience a submerged sensation due to the pressure, which will also cause the protective astronaut suit to malfunction. Besides all this, you will have difficulty breathing because the atmosphere has no oxygen. Unless you are able to rush back to the spacecraft, you would be dead within seconds. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.